Hi uh, guys, welcome to WF1 Raikon, which was WF1 actually, uh, restart out again. <laughs> welcome to EWAR Raikon 7, or it's EWAR Raikon via you, uh, Twitch. And today I'm going to uh, share my honest opinions on GTA 5, and what I believe, where it's going and where it's going to go. But... Uh, See how things happen today now, and uh, yeah, just see where it all goes. With GT Online, just personally, I feel like it's uh, fading away. As in, like, it's no longer um, basically. It's just dying out. So therefore, I just feel like that it's ever since the bunker update, technically, where the um, oppressors came in, the armored vehicles came in, and um, yeah, all that general stuff, really. But uh, hopefully, that GTA isn't dying out too quick but I honestly feel like that it is but I'm not too sure what GTA's plans are as in for the next big update everybody's hoping for the mansions and um, just lowrider DLC there was rumoured to have a police update before but let's face it guys, it's GTA so it's meant for criminals isn't it, effectively. But uh, you can't misjudge it, maybe it will come out, maybe it won't for the police. Um, just hopefully that GTA will finally do something um, good. But, uh, just see how it's going at the minute, I don't think anything good is going to come out very very soon. Um, yeah, it's just, ever since the bunker update with all the weaponized vehicles, that's kind of what's killing GTA 5, is all these weaponized vehicles. Like, all kinds of different stuff. Um, do I think GTA will improve? My honest answer is no. Um, Red Dead is also probably going to end up um, taking over GTA. Kind of has anyway since it's launched. Um, online side of things, I guess. I do have Red Dead, but haven't really played online at all. Um, yeah, as I said just now, with the with the GT just dying out really, really quick. I think there's not going to be that much to uh, improve on, on GT at the minute. Um, personally, I would take everything out and put back what they had in last gen. Where it was much more fair. The only way you could uh, kill somebody was by going in a car and going to kill them. But now that you just got oppressors or, or, or the Batmobile or whatever coming at you because they can't, or orbital cannons actually, because they can't kill you legit anymore. It's all weaponized stuff. And um, yes, I'm not just saying that because uh, I own stuff as well. The main point of this video is where I honestly think GTA is going to end up being this year. And my honest answer is nowhere. It's going to be pretty much the same as it was for the last two years, three years now, with all these weaponized vehicles. It's going to bring up more and more and more. Because everybody just wants OP stuff so they can kill anybody easily. Like the lower levels coming in are oh, the best way we can kill them quick and easy. is by having weaponized vehicles, which they are doing. 
I've done it before because I've got um well I haven't killed low people before but Well not try hard in anyway. But um yeah people do have low levels and they knew the GTA because their parents wouldn't let them play it when they're a bit younger than eighteen because there is an eighteen age rating. But uh yeah, I've made a low level myself personally the other day. And I came in to see what people would do to me. And I got orbital cannon twice. Well, I was chased by a press about five or six times. So, uh, and a Batmobile chased after me twice, which is the uh, vigilante. So, yeah, I got chased quite a few times. It's just not like I haven't. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, just GTA I don't think will improve at all. There's always people on there just trying to kill people consistently. When they're trying to grind money to make their businesses or get more cars. They don't seem to be doing that much anymore. It's all seem to be killing the lower rank levels. Yes, I'm not rich on this game by any means. Um, I'm probably never going to be rich in this game anyway. But, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of things I got planned soon. But just see how it all goes, to be honest. I don't really make GTA 5 videos anymore, because it's pretty much GTA 5 has gone really boring. Um, yeah, so... If, Literally not that much to tell. Uh, like I said well, two minutes ago, the best place I'd go to is last gen for GT5. Current gen is uh, well, new gen, and I should, should as I should say, isn't going where people thought it'd go. As in uh, business-wise and all that. Um, do I think that GTA will get much bigger with mansions or stuff? And my answer is no. Because cause of GTA is already dying. I don't think GTA wants to um, bring out any mansions or any kind of stuff like that. Simply because of... Um, they don't want to kill the game off too quick. Casinos would be uh, absolutely amazing to have in the game, but that would probably kill the game off as well, and modders would find the easiest way to get money into this game. Um, as, as in that, I mean, like, with a casino, you go there, you can either win money or lose uh, lots of amount of money, so modders could effectively do that. Yes, you can't technically mod next gen. What can I do for you? What vehicle should I tell them what you want? But, um, let's face it, guys, modders find their way in somehow. They're bringing your personal vehicle around oh. right now. I didn't mean to request that vehicle, but, uh. No, it's. Um. Yeah, that's just how it's gonna end up going, I suppose. Um, no, I don't think GTA is going to die out too soon, but it's definitely dying out, so. Just see how it goes, really. Because if GTA do bring up mansions, then just myself personally, they're going to be overpriced in the region of 3 to 7 million, just like the yachts. Well, the yacht's Boss. between six and eight, but. Hello. What do you Hello. need? What do you need? Quite a collection you've got Quite here. Quite a collection you've got here. But um, yeah, it's just. Look, we're having some it's stuff that. that area. It's gonna have to wait. It's gonna have to wait. Um, don't have things to this game where there's too much overpowered all the time because people don't like it much anymore. And I honestly don't blame them at all. Anything to keep you 
Because I, I've also gone the same way with GTA. I don't want to grind anymore. I don't really want to play it much anymore. I'm mainly on Formula 1 2018, as you've seen by my streams and uh, <laughs> my recent <laughs> YouTube videos, which I know I don't upload much. But, um, yeah, uh, Formula 1 2019, I will be streaming my Cree mod 100%. I'll be uh, streaming it. Because if they do uh, do the F Formula 2 category, I will be starting from the bottom to the top. And if hopefully they get you to choose a young driver program. If not, I'll kind of fake it and do my own kind of young driver program. And I'll be doing a f either, I'm not, I don't really know what I'm going to say. It's between either a Ferrari young driver program I'll be doing or it would be a uh, Red Bull one. Where I go from Tarasso to Red Bull. Um, no, that doesn't mean where. Uh, if I don't do too well in the first season with Red Bull, then I'll make sure I'll stay. I'll stay in Red uh, Tarasso. I then go to Red Bull maybe season three. Or if I don't do that well in season two, stay with Tarasso for season three again. And then maybe season four Red Bull. But to see how it planned, and uh, yeah, that's just my honest opinion for GTA 5. It's dying out rapidly, the game's going, and uh, GTA 6 2021 will be the time where the next game comes out. And the reason why I say that, I'll show you, I'm, well, I'm about to show you right now the reason why. Most of you already know this if you watch Mr. Bots for the win or other people like that who do GTA 5 content uh, regularly. And then you'll see in around about two minutes of this video what I'm on about. Basically, there's two numbers on the doors, which I'm literally about to show you. And they show the release date of this game, which is 2013. Which uh, actually came out in September, and I believe it came out in November for 2014 for next gen. And it's, I think it's these by you. One second. There you are, look. There's 2021, and this is what I'm on about, guys. It's these two doors right here. So you got that one right there, which is 2013, which was actually the year this game launched. And then you got this one, which is 2021, which is everybody's prospecting that GTA 6 is coming. Is it going to come personally? I reckon no. I reckon it's going to come next year, 2020. Because of how dead GTA and how slack and Rockstar is with a new, with updates and even the grinding for double money and stuff isn't that great anymore. Like for me, the press is on sale this week. Yes, I've already got one. And um, my friend Ethan Duffel, which, uh, or go and uh, follow him on Instagram with Ethan Duffel Modified. That's. Like, he hasn't got the press of Mark Dillon discount this week. Help. But I have. Um, <laughs> yeah, I apologize for all the dust crop, uh, crop dust as you, so. Just to fill up the garage in it, so why not? F the haters, that's what I say. Um, yeah, but. Sometimes I take the criticism for haters for, to try and make my YouTube better, so. But we all can't win, so yeah. And that's kind of it then. That's my opinion on GTA 5. It is dying. Will mansions come? No. No, in my opinion. Not this year anyway. If it does, then great. Casino, in my honest opinion, will never come. Um, do I think that they're. Remove GTA 5 as in like 
as soon as 20, uh, GT6 comes out? No, because you will still have people that love to play this game. And you do have people that do play this in and out. But personally, guys, <laughs> these YouTubers with tons of money, I don't know. I think because they're on PC, they can mod their money, and that's pretty much obvious, to be fair. That they do do that. Uh, modded accounts, they probably 100% have them. That's why they have so much money. Look, I don't play this game that much. And, um... Simply because of all these weaponized stuff, I don't like playing online anymore. Because people are just too OP with the things. When you're on the last gen, I did uh, play a, a hell of a lot with, um... I don't know, Salt and RSs and... Uh, T20s... All that kind of stuff. Where stuff wasn't too weaponized and you'd have to kill them through a car or a helicopter or jet if you went to the military base. Now you could just pay from them and request them easily. Or if you're on the hangar in the military base, you can just go to the military base and steal a jet easily. So, But yeah, that's it from me today, guys. Thanks very much for watching and this is just my honest.